Order the angles in each triangle from smallest to largest. Well, this doesn't give us the angles. Oh, but you know what it does? It gives us the sides. And whatever the largest side is, in this case, 18, its opposite angle is going to be the largest. So let's find the smallest side first. Okay, LK is the smallest side, which means angle J is going to be the smallest angle because J is opposite of 14, which is the smallest side. Similarly, the one in the middle is 16. So the opposite angle of 16 is K. So angle K is going to be in the middle. And then the largest angle is going to be L, like I mentioned before, because the largest side is 18. So the largest angle is going to be angle L. So angle J, angle K, angle L, because you were the smallest, you were in the middle, and you are the largest side. And that's it.